Hi, I'm Dennis Warwood. I'm the USU Extension Agent in Emory County. Today we're talking a little bit about Russian olive control using the cut stump method. Russian olives are a native to Eurasia and they've become a serious pest in the western United States. They're very competitive, they're drought tolerant, they're somewhat salt tolerant. As a legume they can fix nit atmospheric nitrogen and uh, outcompete some of the native plants. One big concern we have in this part of the state is that we now have a biological control for tamarisk, which is another invasive uh, woody species. And with the tamarisk being suppressed by the, their biological control, which is a beetle, the concern is that we're going to have a, an explosion of Russian olive to take their place. And so we've been doing research on different methods to control them. The cut stump method that we're going to talk about today has some real advantages. In about five years of research, one thing we've learned is that it doesn't matter which month of the year we use this method, it's equally effective. And so that's a good thing for someone who has some time in the off season, not during the growing season when they're trying to put up crops, uh, they, they could do some Russian olive control. Another nice thing about the cut stump method is that it uses a very small amount of herbicide and the herbicide is applied directly to the stump very specific, uh, very little danger of uh, damaging non-target plants. And so it has some real advantages. Biggest disadvantage is it's fairly labor intensive and with a Russian olive the most difficult part of, of control is getting close enough to the plant to control it. They're thorny and they're shrubby and they're messy to work with. Uh, with the, the cut stump method basically you come in and you cut the tree off and uh, then you apply an herbicide. Now it's a mistake to simply cut the tree and not apply the herbicide because in our trials basically every tree that we have cut and left untreated has re-sprouted and in some cases it appears it actually invigorates the plants. Uh, after a couple of years some of our untreated cut stumps the, the trees are taller than adjacent uncut trees and already have fruit on them. So as one farmer told me if I cut the Russian olive, all I do is make it mad. That's true unless you apply herbicide afterward.